This is gonna be the video that's gonna teach you exactly about real estate leads as a licensed agent so that you can start controlling your business and take your income to the next level without exhausting yourself working 50, 60 hours a week so you can still have time for yourself and your family and really control your business. My name is Austin Harley. I'm a realtor, been licensed for about four years in Virginia, Maryland. And my second year was the year that I really just dug deep. I told myself I had to quit my full-time job and I just went straight forward to it. I ended up making about 100K, which was awesome, but I was working my ass off. I was going to open houses, chasing Craigslist ads, doing everything I possibly could to really chase the client. And I lost a ton of deals. A few clients actually ended up firing me that year and it was just really depressing. And it was so much hard work just to generate that set amount of income. So coming my second year, I sat back in December and I really dove deep into figuring out how can I start generating leads or business that wants to work with me rather than me just chasing after all these deals. I ended up tripling my income my second year in real estate and this is now my third year in real estate that I've been actively producing and I'm just doing great. I only work with clients that I want to and I wanted to make this video so that you can be in the same exact shoes and that all starts down and boils down to where your business comes from so that you can take control of it. But before we jump into that you need to understand the biggest concept that change my entire business. And that's gonna be marketing. But more in depth besides just saying marketing, I want you to understand the concept between inbound marketing and outbound marketing. So whether you know about inbound or outbound marketing, you probably are already doing it. So if you're a realtor, you know that the easy ways to get realtor leads is gonna be sitting at open houses, buying Zillow.com leads, or doing anything of that sort. All of those ways are fantastic and you can make a buttload of money doing that stuff. But the problem is you're gonna be consistently chasing after your audience or your leads or your customers, whatever you wanna call them because it's an outbound marketing. You're just kind of popping up and trying to convince them to work with you because of XYZ, which is fantastic if you can sell yourself very well, but that stuff gets exhausting over time. And then on the flip side of that, you got inbound marketing. Now inbound marketing consists of you or your own business running ads to people or putting an offer out there so that when a client or the audience or the customer, whatever you want to call it, reaches out to you, they're expecting something in return. They are eager to hear what you have to say. So again, instead of you chasing after the business, the business comes chasing after you. Now, if you follow me this far, I'm gonna explain examples of inbound and outbound marketing now. Oh, by the way, if you haven't already, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and go ahead and feel free to share this content with any of the realtors that you think might benefit from this as well. So over here to this side of the screen, you're gonna be able to see examples of outbound marketing. Now, outbound marketing is fantastic, and the reason why is because 99% of outbound marketing techniques are gonna be completely free, which is great because you can trade your time for services and produce income. Now, on the flip side of that, if you don't have a lot of time and maybe you're full or tired of doing the outbound marketing services, you can do the inbound marketing services that I'm gonna list somewhere over here on this side of the screen. And with those inbound marketing services, people are going to be reaching out to you if you do it correctly so that you can follow back up with them whenever it's convenient for you. And the biggest difference between inbound and outbound marketing is that inbound marketing is going to expect something back. So if you're doing inbound marketing correctly, like a free list of homes ad, then they're gonna be submitting their information with the intention of getting their their, per, their service, their product, which is a free list of homes. And now you're building an audience the same way as if you bought a Zillow lead, you would be building an audience because you would have their name, email, and phone number, which is most important. And I'm not trying to make this video to sell you on inbound marketing because I want you to sign up for this Facebook ads course because that's not what I'm doing at all. But if you do inbound marketing correctly and target people in the right way, you're going to get not only a higher quality lead, you're going to get a way better response rate and people are going to be more eager to work with you because they reached out to you, they trust you, they looked at your reviews. Whereas on the flip side of that, if you're calling a FISBO, you got to do every single thing you can over the phone just to book an appointment. And then once you get in front of the client, you got to pull every single single string to just convince them to sign a 6% listing agreement with you in a lot of FISBOs in general are just the cheapest individuals on the planet Earth, and it's a hassle doing that. And not only that, whenever you're chasing after clients, it wastes more time. So it still needs to be a fair combination of both so that you can increase your income to the highest amount possible using the time that you have dedicated to set aside for your business. So, so far, you have a good understanding of inbound and outbound marketing, and I gave you great examples of both of those so that you can apply them to your business. And this is probably gonna be the most important hands-down tip that I've ever given on a video 
to produce income in real estate. And that's gonna be your audience, your list of customers or list of contacts that you've had. By this stage in my second year in real estate where my income decided to triple, I had a list of clients that I had built up for my first year that I was able to retarget to. So your retargeting audience is gonna be so particularly important to your success and really longevity in this business of being a realtor without you growing gray hair and going crazy. Now this is one example of what I mean by this. When you have a set amount of data of clients that want to do real estate business with you, then you can share that data to Facebook for them to find lookalike audiences of other people, their friends that may want to do business with you as well. Maybe they've seen a post or two about you and maybe this is your way of retargeting those people so you can expand your audience to your friends of friends and really just multiply from there. Now the coolest part about this is that your retargeting audience, since you already have that list of people, is going to be the cheapest thing to market to ever. I promise you it's going to be cheaper than Realtor.com leads, Zillow leads, and not only that, it's not really a waste of money if you don't get any leads from just retargeting to people. At least it's your way of not really being creepy and calling them every single month like most realtors do when they have nothing significant to talk about anyway. Because you can stay ahead of them on Facebook ads and Google retargeting ads so that they never lose contact of your face, your image or your brand. And the last coolest thing about retargeting ads is that they are the most high quality leads that you can possibly get. For example, your first stage of outbound marketing, Zillow.com leads or calling a FISBO, you may need to reach 100 contacts before you actually get a 6% listing with a FISBO. Now on the second stage, if you have inbound marketing, say you're running an ad to sellers, it may only take 20 people before you get a listing with that type of ad. Now your retargeting audience, the third tip that I taught you about, it may only take one in five people before you can actually get a solid seller that trusts you and has seen your business everywhere because you're going to become a mini celebrity if you do this correctly. Now, now that I've explained all those three tips, I wanted to end this video on explaining some of the biggest mistakes that I've seen a lot of agents making, especially when they're new in the industry. So first things first is you don't want to waste your budget. I don't want you to go out there and set a daily budget on Facebook ads of $50 a day because you're just going to get discouraged. You're going to get overwhelmed with the amount of leads and you're not going to probably have the systems in place to properly follow up with those people and understand that it's going to take some time before those deals start coming in. So if you're starting with limited money, but you have a lot of time, I would work your outbound marketing first, like, open houses to build as many contacts as you possibly can so that you can start retargeting them using the third tip that I told you about and then slowly set aside money from every single deal that you get from your outbound marketing to pay for your inbound marketing and then it will all snowball from there. And then if I can't say this enough, hopefully this video was inspirational or at least taught you something in this video. The biggest thing I can say at the end is to not give up, not stop. You need to do this consistently. If you're just gonna run an ad for a week or two, people are not gonna recognize your brand. Ever understand that there's so many realtors. I think in Northern Virginia alone, there's over 100,000 agents. So everyone knows a realtor, everyone's friends with a realtor, and realtors are just everywhere. I mean, for example, have you ever gotten a listing appointment and asked them if they're interviewing other people? Chances are, if it's not their first transaction with a real estate agent, they're most likely going to be interviewing at least two to three or maybe even four to five other agents. So the competition is insane, not just through calling them, but also through some online advertisement. So anyways, I hope you liked this video. I hope I taught you something new. If you haven't already, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel so I can teach you more about how getting real estate leads. And also check out some of my other videos if you like and I'll catch you on the next one.